Rapid mode is an option that you can enable for your SSD drive if it has the option available. Basically, when you enable rapid mode, it will then use your DRAM as cache for storage, helping make the drive run a lot faster. But the issue with this, you could end up actually losing data if your computer was to crash as it's using the DRAM for the storage. So the chances of this happening is quite slim, but it could still happen. Not to mention users have also had issues when enabling DRAM, or sorry, should I say the rapid mode, and then it uses the cache in DRAM. This has caused issues for users, such as launching games and crashes within Windows. So the question is, is it really worth enabling rapid mode on your SSD for the extra speed or just leaving this option off? So in this video, I thought it'd be fun to just take a look at having the option enabled and disabled and just see how well my drive performs with rapid mode on. So let's go ahead now and dive on my desktop and run some tests. Alrighty, so as you can see, I'm now on my desktop and the hard drive that I'm going to be enabling rapid mode on is for a Samsung SSD 870 Evo. So you can see here, I've got Samsung Magician open. So this is the program that you can use to enable the rapid mode if you have a Samsung SSD. So you will need to say you've got a Western digital drive or something like that. You will then need to use their software to enable the rapid mode. So to do it on a Samsung, you need to head on over to the performance optimization option and you should then have the standard mode enabled. So what you can do is then go down to custom mode and you can then toggle this option here to on. So this is the rapid status, so the rapid mode. If you flick this to on and then click on apply, it will now change it and you should now be using the rapid mode. So your computer must be restarted to have this mode enabled. So I'm now gonna go ahead and restart my computer and then we will run a test using Crystal Disk 8 to see just how well the drive performs with the option on. Also, I just want to point out when enabling this option in the Samsung Magician, you actually get a warning saying that if you choose the rapid mode without first creating a restore point, you must ensure that your system does not lose power during installation and you must reboot or shut down your system immediately after this install completes. So basically this is saying that if you do lose power, you are going to lose everything. So don't let this happen. And if you're happy with this, you can go ahead and click yes. So I'm actually gonna click on yes. And because I don't mind if I lose my data, in fact, I probably do, but it's actually all just games on this drive, I think. I'm just gonna click on yes and not create a restore point. Okay, so my computer has now restarted and rapid mode should be enabled. In fact, I'm just going to actually ensure that the option's enabled by opening up the Samsung Magician. Okay, so you can see there that the rapid status option is enabled, so that's all good. We can now dive into Crystal Disk 8 and see how well the drive now performs with the option. So I'm just going to open this up now. Alrighty, now I've got Crystal Disk 8 open. I need to select my D drive because that's the drive that we've enabled the rapid mode on, and it's my Samsung drive. It'd be no good testing a random drive now, would it? So let's click on all and see how well it performs. So before I show you the result of rapid mode enabled, it's now time to take a look at the result with the mode actually disabled first. Alrighty, so I've got Crystal Disk 8 open and we've got rapid mode disabled currently. So let's go ahead and run a test and see how well my Samsung drive performs with the mode turned off. And as you can see, that's what it's like, how well the drive performs without the rapid mode on. So drum roll please, how well does the drive perform when you have rapid mode on? And there you go. So on the right hand side, you've got rapid mode enabled and on the left hand side, we've got it disabled. And you can straight away see that having rapid mode enabled, it, it really does make a massive difference. So the results are actually pretty outstanding. So the question is though, is it worth risking the chance of maybe losing data if Windows was to crash? Also, 
the fact that users have been having issues launching games and stuff like that and causing other problems within Windows, is it really worth it? And then using the memory, the DRAM, to use the cache. So that's going to be down to your own decision. What I'd recommend you do is enable the rapid mode if your tribe does support it. Give it a try for a week and see how well Windows performs. If you are using the tribe that you're going to enable rapid mode on as your default drive for your Windows OS, then you probably will see a massive difference in performance of Windows loading and stuff like that. And you're probably going to think, actually, yes, this is definitely worth it. But like myself, if you're just using the tribe to store some games on and files, you're probably not really going to notice much of a difference. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.